Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Leicester City and today we've got episode 25. Here is then the Premier League table as you can see we're still at top of the table with 7 wins, 1 draw and only 1 loss so far this season so we're doing great. Uh, we're 2 points ahead of Spurs and we're 3 points ahead of Liverpool and 4 points ahead of Manchester City so not in a bad spot at the moment not so ever and you can see down here Man United are currently in 13th place with 2 wins, 4 draws and 3 losses. And I think it just fascinates me that this far in, even nine games are still nowhere near where they should be. In the last episode then, as you can see, we've now got six points in the Champions League group with a win against PSG and Moscow. That now puts us in the top two with Porto leading the group so far. So I'm a lot more happier now because as you can see on the right hand side, we ended up losing our first game in the Champions League 1-0 to Porto. And yeah, it just wasn't a great start, but now we're looking to turn things around. So here are then the games for today's episode. You can see we've got Leeds first. We face them at home at the King Power Stadium. We go to Old Trafford, take on Manchester United. And then that's the end of October already. We're flying through the seasons here. And then we move on into November where we are going to play CSKA Moscow in the Champions League group. Then we're going to fin the episode, uh, finish the episode off with a simmed game against Burnley away from home. So coming up then in today's episode, we've got three games in the Premier League and it's crucial that we get three wins in them games. Because as you've seen, Spurs only two points behind us. So we slip up, they can easily capitalise on that and take the top spot away from us. And also we've got a game coming up in the Champions League. It'll be important to get three points in that as well because we do want to make it out of the group. And PSG are on four points at the moment, but I can imagine they are looking to turn things around. And ensure they get out of the group as well. So if you guys do enjoy today's episode, please go down below and smash the like button. And we can hit above 100 likes. That'd be amazing, guys. Just two seconds down below. Just hit that like button. And also, if you are new, you want to see more of these career mode videos, hit the subscribe button down below. And also the little bell to be notified of when these videos go live onto YouTube. So let's get into the first comment then from the previous episode. And it comes from Omar saying, give Mares the number 26. As that is his preferred number in real life and that's what we're going to do as you can see on screen this guy had a blinder of an episode last episode i think it's five goals in four games he scored for us so he did amazingly and i'm hoping for the same in today's episode we are going to change him though give him the number 26 and i think with that we're going to give Saar the number seven because he has been playing quite a lot of first team football and i don't see why not and it's free as well so we'll give Saar the number seven we've got barnes with the number 11 and we've got Mares with the number 26. So let's get into the second comment then for today's episode, which does come from a fire saying maybe sell him Diddy in January. He's already ninth overall and he is getting world class. If you sell him, maybe use Chowdhury or the Silver. Great video, by the way, and I do appreciate that comment there from Mathias. And I agree. I think to fit the, you know, the Leicester, you know, sort of, how do you put it? Sort of like the Leicester, the, not the model of the club and the transfer business is whenever they develop a player so good, they, they tend to do sell him on and get quite a lot of money for them and then bring in um, a cheaper and younger alternative, which we do have in Chowdhury and the Silver, who can both play in that CDM role. So I think maybe come January, we might sell him. Uh, I've got to admit, we might just sell him and put Chowdhury there. It does weaken the side a bit, but Chowdhury... He's only 24, so we've got plenty of time to grow into them high 80s. Even if we just reached an 83, 84, that would be amazing. And uh, we get quite a lot of money for Ndidi. So let's get into the third and final comment, which does come from Maya saying, Sign a young, good midfielder like Odegaard. Now, OK, I was thinking about this guy at the start of Season 2. Um, just because I've seen a few people comment here and saying possibly bring him in. Since Madison went there, Odegaard might not be getting as much game time as he likes and as he wanted. But I checked out his overall, and he's 85 overall. So I'm just going to keep an eye on his overall. And if that does tend to go up, which it probably could do without playing, uh, depending on how the training's going over at Real Madrid, like I say, whether that affects the AI teams, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to keep an eye on the overall. And if the overall stays the same the whole season, then I'm going to take it that he's not getting much game time at all. And I might try and sign him, uh, sign him sorry, for the next season. So let's get into the first game then. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on Leeds and we are going to be at home for this fixture. So I do expect three points and I do expect us to stay at the top of the table for that entire of today's episode. But you can see our front three is going to be Saar, Vardy and Mahrez, usual midfield and the usual back four as well. So let's get into this game and get them three points. Okay, Leeds getting forward now. Need to be careful here. He's going to give... Okay, I thought the ref was going to give the free kick. Poor pass. Pereira and... Wow, Smeichel forced to make the save. 15 minutes in... Leeds having the better start to the game so far. And i got to remind myself, they are in the relegation zone. So we should be, and being at home as well for us, we should be going all out in this game and securing the three points. Mares, that's poor from him. And Castagne, oh, thank God he saved us. What's Mares doing there, heading it backwards? Okay, he's getting away. Pass and move, pass and move. Vardy, Tielemans, just get that. Oh, he couldn't release the ball to Mares. 
And Morris wasn't the fastest player there, but he was the only one that was going to be available. Okay, leads are through. Bamford, and that's great for Militao. Can we get this one cleared? Uh, just fire that one up the pitch. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not risking anything in this game. I'm going to put team press on. Kamavinga down to Saar. Is he onside? He's going he's gonna to be offside, but I'm sure I've got team press on as well because can't allow them to keep getting through the defence. Okay, Saar looking for Vardy on the run. Can he time that perfectly? I don't think he has. Vardy's through, we're still, and he's going to hit the post. And I don't think Vardy was offside, otherwise the whistle would have gone. And, wow, okay, that was so close. I just can't believe it. Here we go to cross anyway. Vardy maybe on the header. Nope, Mares is going to get there. Head that one back in. That's great. Kamavinga now. Just looking for Vardy in the centre. Looking for someone else. Get that one down. And did he just get round the man? Shoot. And yeah, easy block there for the defender, to be honest. Down for Mares, And he's done great here. Can he just cut this back? And he can. Finesse shot. And an easy save for the defender to block it once again. We're getting closer and closer in this first half. We, we could ideally do with a goal just to set the tempo for the second half of the game. Leeds getting forward now. Okay, just defend this now. 69 minutes in. Still no goal in this game as of yet. Quite embarrassing, if I'm going to be honest, because the commentators even said this is the worst defensive team in the league when referring to Leeds. And we're the best attacking team in the league. And yet we still haven't scored in this game against them. And Castagne's done great there. Finally, someone that can actually pick the ball up. Saar, get that through to Vardy. No, he's overhit it. Vardy, is he going to get there? Vardy, oh man. How can Vardy get outpaced in that run? Okay, maybe something on the count here. And did he get that ball out? That's great. I thought he was going to lose that then. Camavinga's just going to run down this left-hand side. We know he can whip one in. Go on, whip that one in, Camavinga. Okay, not to where I wanted it to, but yeah, wasted opportunity once again. In this game, it looks like it's getting closer and closer to, to a nil-nil draw here. We're going to make three hole changes. Chowdhury is going to come off. Uh, going to come on, sorry. Um, Barnes is going to come on. Jovic is going to come on as well. Just to try and get a point in this game. Uh, well, sorry, not a point in this game, but a goal in this game. Because I, I do not want to leave without the three points. Right, here we go. One of the last chances of the game here. Militao, not many options. Let's get this up here to Kamavinga. No one really inside, and okay, there we go, full-time whistle, passed it back when I didn't want to, but yeah, I, I just got a feeling that game, we weren't going to get anything from it, and you could say it's excuses, but at certain times, like that one with uh, Vardy, I think you might have seen, where I literally tried to play the through ball with Saar, just a single tap, and yet he's overhit it, and it's gone miles in front of Vardy, and he couldn't catch up, and just stuff like that all day where, you know, passes that were intended for one player didn't go to him, to another so on and so on. Games come like that. And unfortunately in this game, we only leave with a point. So here is the Premier League table then. And after that first game against Leeds and a disappointing 0-0, I've got to say. But you can see it's changed quite slightly. Spurs must have got a draw in their game as well. So they're only on 21 points now. They haven't caught us up just yet, but Liverpool have. They got a win in their previous game. 3-0 against Stoke. But Spurs, who did they drew, draw against? Okay, so there's 3-0 win there. I thought Spurs were quite close to us. And okay, yeah, there you go. 1-1. One, one with Wolves, so that means we're still at the top of the table, but we can't allow a performance like that to happen again. Here we go then into the second game of the episode. We are taking on Manchester United away from home. We are going to be visiting Old Trafford and take a look at United's team. You've got Jimenez up front, Isco behind him, Skriniar in defence, Williams at left back, interesting to see, Rashford on the left, Corona on the right, Fred in midfield, wan and Lindelof and De Gea in goal. And I just went full circle, but a little bit different than usual. But anyway, interesting United team, but also interesting. They're only 13th in the table this season. Only got one or two wins this season. So, you know, go into this game. Same as the Leeds one, you know, where they were in, you know, I think they haven't won a game all season. Leeds just obviously still haven't withdrawing against us. But this game, similar to that one, United not where they should be in the league at the moment. And, you know, we've got to be going out there and trying to get all three points and showing them how it's done. Ricardo Pereira passing it up there to Vardy in the middle now for Tiedemans. Just trying to get a few passes going. Here we go, Vardy now looking for Saar maybe on his left-hand side. Not many options apart from crossing at this point. Let's just get a cross in. And okay, it's full to Vardy. He's got the volley, but uh, it's, it's gone wide. But a decent start here at United. And maybe on that right-hand side where Williams is, my United's left-back is maybe where we should be attacking um, for the majority of the game. Mares through ball there to Vardy, and okay, he's linked up with a few players here. Kamavinga making a run down to Saar, maybe, who is going to be offside, I think. Finesse shots, and okay, he's not going to be offside. I thought he was, but it was a close one. 
but uh, not that strong of a finesse shot to trouble De Gea. Okay, United getting really close here. Williams now finding himself quite far at the pitch. Van der Beek and a great tackle from Tielemans. Stops that attack. Let's get on the counter as soon as we can. Tielemans get up to Mares. He's going to play it on over. Jamie Vardy can get on the end of that one. A little bit wider than I wanted it to be. What should we do with this now? Let's try and go inside a little bit. Mares finds Ndidi. Gets that ball down to Camavinga. Who finds Saar. Who can get it out wide once again. Mares. Just get a nice little chip in here. I don't see why not. Tavardi and the header. And just wasn't that great. Let's be honest. Get this forward to Mares. Maybe one last chance before half time. Through ball to Vardy. But once again, he's out wide where I don't really want him. Inside Mares. And Williams just coming in. No foul for that ref. You're joking, man. And I don't know what's happened to this team. Last episode was scoring goals for fun. This episode just seems really difficult. Oh, there we go. We conceded a free kick in this game. Camavinga is going to give it away and get a yellow card, but it is frustrating. I've got to say, and frustrating. The Leeds game getting a nil-nil um, draw. This game, just unable to score and just unable to get the ball back off them. And, you know, just just getting frustrated. Put it that way. But they've got themselves a free kick here. Let's have a see if they're going to score it. Rashford to take, and it's blocked by the walls. Smichael is going to be able to run out to that one. Kamavinga looking for Vardy to make a run, maybe. Get that down to Vardy. Can he get round the defender? And he can't, but I can see Tielemans in the middle. Tielemans going to get this in, and he does. There we go. 1-0, one, one 68 minutes in, and finally a goal has come in this game. Just finally, you know, I'm just so glad to score. And probably now United have got the other end of score. You know, it's just one of them games, how it's been so far. But great build-up play. Vardy getting it now. See Tielemans getting into the space. And there we go, he fires that one in, past the Gea, and 1-0 up in this game. So we are going to make a few changes in this game, and we are 1-0 up, but you can see Kamavinga is on a yellow, and I do not like that whatsoever. So we are going to bring, I think let's bring Lewis Cook on. He does pretty decently well in that midfield when he does come on, he's got some great energy. Um, Mares, you know what, I'm going to bring I'm going to bring Jovic on for Vardy, just because Vardy's been doing decent, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he's out of form or... Having, you know, a really bad time at the moment. But he's just not scoring as much as he once was. And I feel like while he's not scoring, let's give, you know, Jovic some game time. Okay, great ball for United. 89 minutes in here. Are we going to get the goal they need to secure a point in this game? I hope not. While we're doing this, let's get out an ultra defensive. Let's get some players back. And we do not want to lose the three points now this late on. Let's just concentrate now and get this ball won. Lewis Cook done great there. Let's just boot that up the other end of the field. And Harvey Barnes heads that on. And there we go. The full-time whistle has been blown in this game. Not our best game, let's be honest. It's very similar to the Leeds game at the start of the episode. But we got the three points. And I've got to say, that's what we came here for. So we're into the post-match interview here. Then. And then just one goal between the teams in the end. You've come away with the win thanks to the second-half strike. Um, are you happy with today's performance? And you know what? I'm not too pleased with it, I've got to say. But then again, I'm more pleased with this performance than I am with the game we just played against, um, you know, Leeds. Because at Leeds, we're at home. This one, we came away from home to Old Trafford to get a 1-0 win. Can't complain. So here is then the Premier League table after that game against United. We are still at the top of the table now on 26 points. Liverpool are still a point behind us. Spurs still two points behind us. And Man City now at five points behind us. Let's have a look where United are in the table. Now in 12th place. Looks like they're working their way up the table. Now three wins, four draws and four losses on 13 points. But there is quite a bit of gap between them and us. The next game coming up then we are going to take on CSKA Moscow. In the Champions League group stage, you can see in the table so far, they're the only team to not win a game and only get one draw and two losses so far on a single point. Um, but this ne next game is a must win because Porto and PSG, you can say, obviously, are the two other tougher teams in the group. And so a win against Moscow is really important. Let's take a look at the other groups. Group B, Barcelona top in the group. Group C, Juventus, Atletico Madrid on both on seven points. Napoli and United. So United are doing a lot better in the Champions League this season. Group E, Bayern and PSV. Top of the group, Group F, you've got Man City and Gladbach there on six points, but so is Marseille on six points. Um, group G, you've got Real Madrid at the top of the group there on seven. And then the final group, Group H, you've got Leipzig on nine, Liverpool on four. So here is then how I'm going to line up for the final game in today's episode. We are going to play, because don't forget we've got a game against Burnley coming up next, that we are going to simulate in the Premier League. But you can see here is our lineup. We're going with a usual lineup. And in fact, I'm going to take Saar off. Just because Harvey Barnes, I feel like, made a difference 
in the last couple of minutes in that game, you know, allowing us to get the win. And whether he did or not, I don't actually know. But I just feel like we made that change. The team just sort of changed a little bit. And with Harvey Barnes, what is his attacking... Um, I can't think what it's called. Attack positioning. And attack positioning is 89. So I think that start, along with the instructions that I've set, just allows him to get into better positions. And that maybe allows Vardy to get into better positions as well when Barnes does move inside. I just feel like, like I say, I just feel like since he came on in the last game, we did perform a lot better. So he's going to come on, Vardy's going to stay on, and Sengi Zunder's going to come on for Mares, just because Mares hasn't played too well in today's episode so far. So let's take a look at what Sengi Zunder is going to bring to the team. And let's go out there and get three points to top off a good episode. It'll also be interesting to see, after this game, obviously PSG and Porto are playing right now, who gets to win in their game, because if PSG gets to win... And we get the win in this game. I could see us two, us and PSG, going top of the group. So it'll be interesting to see. Sengi Zunder just couldn't get a free ball down. But he has there to Ricardo Pereira. And just keep going. Get the cross in towards Vardy. Little nod on. And he couldn't. There. And has it. Okay, it's going out for a corner. Can't complain. Happy with that. Tielemans to whip this one in. The header maybe. And of course not. Tielemans is going to get there before the ball goes out of play. And okay, I see Harvey Barnes. Not too bad. Get that in there to... Oh, that's a Vardy, but inside, Camavinga, there we go, down, and he's going to be called for offside, isn't he? Okay, maybe not, the cross and the shot, and okay, not bad. Not a bad start there, I really thought Harvey Barnes was offside. Pereira pushing forward, straight away now, out wide, Sengi Zunder in great space. Get a cross in, and he's trying to find Harvey Barnes, but the defender is able to kick it, and okay, going to win this. Camavinga, and okay, Castagne is free. Um, shall we play it? I'm going to play it inside. There we go. Get that to Vardy. Never mind. To Tielemans for the shot. Yeah. Let's not let's not talk about that shot, shall we? Okay. Moscow getting forward here now. Okay. How did we not get that tackle in? And okay. Got the tackle in the end. Pereira. Okay. Tielemans, sorry, is going to run out for this one. Struggling a little bit to get out of defence. I'm just trying to get it to Castagne. Trying to get up this left-hand side. But it's proving... Quite difficult here. A lot of long-range passes getting cut out. Camavinga now. See what I mean? Where is Harvey Barnes at this point? Normally he drops a little bit deeper, but just can't really get it to him. There we go. Sengi's under. Vardy now. Um, get out to Vardy. Yep. Um, okay, just struggling. Okay, Camavinga almost losing it. Pass. Weak once again. Vardy. There we go. Harvey Barnes down to Camavinga. This is looking decent. Little chip inside for Barnes. Go on, get it in. Vardy, there we go. 1-0 finally in this game. 37. Oh. It's going to be called offside. No way, man. Oh, I struggled. I really struggled for that goal. And wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Vardy, yeah. Okay. Not going to be 1-0. I really, as you guys could tell, I really believed that was 1-0. To Le Mans. Vardy now. Okay, down to Harvey Barnes. Try and get this back to Vardy. And we can. Vardy's going to be through with a shot. And not one of his best shots, to be fair. Nack and Fieber and Gold is always going to save that. We're going to get the corner here. Doubt anything will come from it. But let's have a look. To Le Mans. It's going to fall to Vardy. There we go. 1 0. And that is definitely going to stand in this game. 44 minutes in. And we get the first goal. And finally, a header from the corner. Which seems like ages since we scored on Vardy, to be fair. But all the players that we've got, you know, all the defenders and midfielders that are quite tall. Vardy is always the one pretty much to score from a cross or a corner. And finally, 1-0 up in this game. A good cross there from Tielemans. And look at Vardy there. Just gets up. And I'm very, I'm just surprised out of him. Out of all the players we've got on the pitch, he's always the one to score a header. But there we go. Our first goal of the game just before half-time. Okay, decent ball in, and oh, an easy save for Smeichel, luckily 61 minutes in now, still 1-0 up in this game. I think I'm going to wait till around about the 70th minute, 75th minute, possibly, and if the game's still the same at 1-0, I think we'll make a few changes, because obviously we've got a game coming up against Burnley next, and I think it's two, three days away, and I still want some good players available for that game. So I think, like I say, around about the 75th minute, make some changes, and I'll probably switch to defensive and just try and secure the three points. But here we go, Kamavinga, Sengi's under there, go through, go on, Sengi's under, go on, there we go, 2-0, 67 minutes in, and Sengi's under, possibly, you know, should be starting these games over Mark, well, say, I say that, Mars had a good last episode, so that's why he started in today's episode, but Sengi's under, I've got to say, I always push him to one side and leave him on the bench, but every time he comes on, he always proves me wrong, and always has a good game, look at him there, starts the run, run into space, great ball, well, simple ball, shall I say, and he finishes it off across the goalkeeper. And 2-0 now in this game. 
Okay, Moscow, possibly bring one back here. You know, it's not too late for them to come out here and get two goals. Militao is going to block that one. Let's just fire that one upfield and try and get on the counter. I don't see why not. Okay, we couldn't. Moscow, back with the ball. Now, I have made all three changes. They haven't actually come on the pitch yet, but I have made them. I am tempted to kick it out of play just to get these subs on, actually, to be fair, because... Um, I could do with their fitness being, you know, top, top, ready for the next game. Vardy, Barnes not really making a run, but he's trying to get down the pitch, get a cross in, and he's not. But at least that now allows for the team uh, for the team to rotate now, get these three new players on. Chardu's going to come on, um, Saar's going to come on as well as um, Jovic, but here we go, Saar now. Possibly pass it into Jovic there, turn his man, shot, there we go. Oh, wow, okay, he's gone wide, but a chance straight away coming on. Moscow now possibly with a chance to get at least one goal back in this game. Just trying to defend. Only a minute added on. Should be able to see this one out and get the three points. There we go. Tielemans. That's great. Just fire that one upfield. There we go. Jovic. There we go. The full-time whistle has gone. And we get the 2-0 win away from home against Moscow. And a decent three points for us to take to the group. So here is then the Champions League group after that game against Moscow. And as you can see, PSG did end up getting a 3 1 win against Porto, as you can see on the right hand side there, which means PSG now moving to second place on seven points. We're at the top on nine. And I think next, if we get a win against PSG, we're pretty much guaranteed our way out of the group. So we do have one last final game in today's episode. We are taking on Burnley. It is going to be a simmed game, but you can see at the moment they're in 14th place. With only three wins, three draws and five losses this season on 12 points. So let's get into our final game then of the episode where we take on Burnley away from home. And to be honest, I wish now that I sim the Leeds game with us being at home. And I feel more comfortable simming home games than I do away games. So we'll have to see how this game turns out against Burnley. We're going to make a quick change though to the side after um, Harvey Barnes in the last game. I just feel like he has to play Vardy up front. No reason not to. Sengi Zunder is going to start as well. Just a little bit, you know, risky with his fitness levels there. But I'm hoping that AI will sub him off at some point in the game. And just won't allow him to, you know, run the whole game with that much fitness. And, but let's get into this one. Let's quick sim it. An important three points. Come on. Come on, Leicester. Let's get the win. And we are going to get the win. A 4-2 win against Burnley. Vardy with a goal. Mares with a goal. And, yeah, okay. Vardy and Barnes with a goal. So Vardy with two. Barnes with one. And also um, Mares with a goal as well, who came on for Sengiz under 47 minutes in, which is great. Like I said, it'll give Sengiz under much needed rest time and we get an important three points. Here is then how we're going to end today's episode. We're still on top of the table then. An unfortunate draw to start the episode against Leeds, but we've got three straight wins after that. A win against United, Moscow in obviously the Champions League and then just a win against Burnley. Simming that game, so that now leaves us on 29 points. Liverpool still a point behind. Spurs are still two points behind and Man City still five points behind us. Let's take a look down the league and United in 13th place. Let's take a look at the bottom three. And that's going to be Stoke, Leeds and Nottingham Forest. And you see what I mean by Leeds. They haven't won a game yet this season. And the commentators are saying they're the worst defensive team. Maybe not now. Goal difference is better than uh, Nottingham Forest. But at the time, they're the worst defensive team in the league. And I just wish we had a better game against them. So then, my player of the episode for today's episode has to go to NDD. You know, like I said, the, the front three changed all episode. We had Saar for a little bit, then we had Harvey Barnes. Vardy was doing decently well. Don't get me wrong, he scored two goals in that Burnley game. But I, I, he just doesn't feel the same as he used to at the start of the season where he's banging them in, you know, eight or nine goals. He just seems to have dropped off just a little bit. But hopefully next episode we can get back up to scoring a few goals with him. But for today's episode, it has to go to NDD. You know, he protects them back to there, them back to centre-back so well. And without him and the team, we definitely wouldn't be first in the Premier League. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to join us next time when we are taking on PSG once again in the Champions League. If we get a win in that one, we will have secured our place out of the Champions League into the knockout stages. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.